So welcome friends to A Club uh, this Saturday afternoon and thanks for joining after a full Saturday meal. You must be feeling sleepy, but I think I will try, you may, my voice uh, will try to make you awake and I hope this session will be interesting. And it, it will not be a very long session because only GRU is to be covered and LSTM is already covered in very detail in the last session. Okay, so now I want you to see this particular, uh, this particular, uh, this particular uh, PPT like uh, picture which is there on the left hand side. Just spend a couple of minutes. Uh, can you note XT which is input? XT minus one which is coming from the previous uh, time step. Can you note these two which is there? I have noted it down with plane with uh, with a pen. Can you note it down? Have you noted it down? Yeah. XT, XT and XT which is current time input for the current time step and XT minus one which is the hidden input which is coming from the previous time step. Then you can note down these two, right? Yeah. So you can note down RT. RT I have noted in inside a yellow circle. RT you can note down. Yeah, we are able to see that. Then UT can you note down UT and one minus UT in the middle of the diagram. Yes. Uh, so then you can note down HD cap, HD cap, which is uh, output of the hidden candidate gate. Can you note down that HD cap? Yes. Now, same, yeah. So these are the main components of uh, this GRU, which we are going to discuss today. Okay. So uh, there are, as usual, like as discuss, we discussed in uh, LSTM, this uh, Dr. Shailesh, you are there. Yes, yes, I'm there. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah. So you also can note down whatever I told, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that red ball, uh, red ball is uh, there, which is sigma function. You can note down that as well. So there are two red balls. So there are two sigma functions. You can note down that. Just keep speaking, yeah, madam or Shailesh, Dr. Shalish. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, yes, we can. Uh, there are there are two red balls and one blue ball. So blue ball is marked as 10H. Okay. So we know that sigma uh, varies between 0 and 1. Continuous function between 0 and 1. 10H, which is hyperbolic 10, th hyperbolic 10 function, which varies from minus 1 to 1. Okay. Similar function to, it is similar function to sigma, but its value varies from minus 1 to 1. Okay. So now I think it is not very difficult. So let us start with this uh, something which is circled in, uh, which is, uh, I have circled it in a yellow, yellow circle, I have done it. So it is called reset gate. Let us start with that. Let us start with reset gate. So first of all, let us start with, don't look at the diagram, which is in totality. One by one, one part by part, we'll have a look so that it is easy for us. So let us look here first now, first let us have a look at only the, yellow circle which I have done. So it is called reset gate. So this reset gate is something similar to what we did in uh, LSTM. It takes uh, the, uh, uh, the current time step in the current time step input which is XT and uh, the previous uh, input coming from the previous, uh, previous time step which is HT minus one. Both you can see it is combined. So you see equation on the top right hand side, you come to the right hand side now. Equation on the top, you note H, XT which is current time step input and HT minus one. You note, do you, uh, do you note that it is the, these two things the equation? Yes. You note down that, right? So, so X, XT is multiplied by with its corresponding weight. So there is a weight associated with the entire XT. Uh, before XT goes into a reset gate, we multiply it with a with a with a, uh, with a multiply xt with a weight corresponding weight similarly the input coming from the previous time step we multiply that also its corresponding weight wr so reset reset gated two weight matrix ur and wr one is multiplied ur is multiplied to xt and xt minus 1 uh, which is the previous time step input it, we multiply it with wr okay so these two wet matrix, we multiply it, it becomes the input. 
and uh, we apply a sigma, which is the activation function. Activation function in this case is sigmoid. Sigma is nothing but sigmoid. So we apply activation function. So value of RT will be between zero and one. We know that very easy because we have done it many times in uh, LSTM and many places. So it is nothing but your short-term memory. Reset gate is your short-term memory. It decides like uh, the value of RT ranges from zero to one. Uh, it decides how much of uh, previous uh, input and current time step input you have to take. It decides that. So it is a short-term memory. That is one part of it. Very simple. Xt current current time step multiplied with its weight weight matrix wr. Ht which is the input coming from the previous uh, time step. It is multiplied by its corresponding weight wr. Both are summed, and we apply a activation function which is sigmoid. So value of rt will be, value of rt will be between zero and one. It is a fraction between zero and one because it, we have applied sigmoid. So this is your reset gate. Now let's uh, now let, let us go to second gate, which is again uh, circled in yellow here, middle one in middle of the diagram you can see. So it is uh, circled with the yellow again. So it also has a sigmoid. It also has a sigmoid, and uh, you first see, look into sigmoid. So again, uh, uh, see here input, which is current time in, input, current time step input xt and ht minus one are flowing into reset gate as well as same thing is flowing into uh, update gate also. Same, it is flowing into reset gate. We have seen, we have seen how it was treated. Now same thing is flowing into update gate also. So same, it is the expression is same, uh, but the corresponding weight, weight matrix are different. Weight matrix are, so U, 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 U and W, U. These are the weight matrix associated with xt and ht minus 1 we multiply it again we put a again we put a, a sigmoid so it is uh, update gate is long term memory previous was short term memory and this is nothing but your long term memory where it uh, is now. just one one thing yeah on this actually when when we had a when we for lstm now huh. in lstm in short term memory there was a uh, 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 means there was uh, a term called uh, city right current state which yeah, is, the current state is not there in uh, gru that's how it is the simplification of lstm that yeah. current state we have get away with the clarification which i seek is uh. that city used to take care of maybe minus 20 minus 30 whatever words or strings or timestamps were there now yeah, so yeah. Here it used to take care of those things but here in this case uh, both are same so how ht minus one is doing that job in this case you see the ht minus one is passing that that's doing oh. that job okay 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 so ht minus one you see on the top it is passing through and same two operations are being done there also we did a one addition and one uh, element wise multiplication. So it is that job is being done by HT minus one here. So update gate is nothing but your uh, long term memory. So now we got two gates reset gate, update gate. Functions are the same, same sigmoid, same inputs, X, a, a current time step X3 and uh, previous uh, time step input HT minus one multiplied by the corresponding weights added up and then activation function sigmoid uh, sigmoid activation function applied to it so both both gates are similar equations are exactly the same only the corresponding weight matrix are different so that is how it is now now then uh, when you see now when you see uh, in the uh, update gate only about to that red ball there are two branches so whatever is the ut ut which is the output of output from sigmoid ut is the output from sigmoid as you can see equation it is divided into two parts one ut goes up one go, goes ut goes up and one minus ut goes on the right hand side one ut goes up and one minus ut goes on the right hand side so these two are this is this is what you have to note down in update gate now we will see what we do with ut and one minus ut okay so we have next operations here. So next operation is called candidate gate. 
candidate gate is nothing but your 10 h part which i have not circled here so 10 h part so 10 h part what we are doing whatever uh, whatever uh, uh, like um, whatever you just note down just note down this rt rt which is output of reset gate rt is multiplied by uh, multiply with ht minus 1 is coming from the top and rt is going from right uh, from red wall to left hand side you can note down that so rt is multiplied by ht minus 1 rt rt which is coming which is the output of reset gate is multiplied by ht minus 1 and then it is multiplied by the corresponding weight matrix and xt which is coming from the down is multiplied by corresponding uh, weight matrix both are added up and then again uh, it is passed to the 10h function so its value will be minus 1 to 1 so it will give a sign to it okay it gives a sign to it is this understood this is little, little this is this is little tricky you note down first of all rt rt is going from red uh, first red ball to the left hand side which is the output we calculated here rt we calculated here rt we calculated here rt this rt same rt same rt is going from red ball towards left and ht is coming from the top ht is coming from the top we are doing a element wise multiplication of ht and rt and uh, then we are adding H, uh, the current time step input which is xt xt we are, and both are getting multiplied by the uh, corresponding uh, weight matrix malini madam is this clear i i kind of understood what you told but uh, yeah. mathematically you just now see mathematically first mathematically understood what is happening uh, rt of. is coming which is the output of your reset gate it is getting element wise multiplication with ht minus 1 which is previous time step input you see link is there directly ht minus 1 is coming from down up to down element wise multiplication is happening then we are multiplied with the weight matrix wg and then we are adding it up adding it of ht ht is coming from the bottom and uh, you are multiplying again with the weight matrix wg UG for this gate they are adding up and uh, it is happening uh, we are passing it through 10 h mathematically is this equation understood uh, okay so so there isn't a separate output for uh, reset gate that is going to the uh, output like you are playing reset gate output we are doing a yeah. element wise yeah. multiplication yeah. with yeah. ht minus yeah. 1 i understand that and that uh, combined with xt is going to the uh, tan h function tan h function so this value of ht cap ht cap that value will be between minus 1 and 1 because of tan h okay it is acting as a modulator now let us go next let us don't put don't don't put too many questions right now in the mind some things will be clear so this h what we are doing with that is the output of your that ht which you can see ht cap so this ht cap as you see which is going up which i have noted here in the diagram on the left ht cap it is getting getting element wise multiplication with 1 minus ut understood na 1 minus ut is coming there so 1 minus ut and ht in the next step we are applying see one ut was coming from here ut is coming from here so ut we divided into two branches one ut is going top and 1 minus ut is going on the right hand side so this 1 minus ut is get, getting uh, like in this step you see in, in in this step update gate yeah 10h is here so in the next step next step yeah next step next step you see the next step yeah next step next step is this where 1 minus ut is getting multiplied by ht cap and ut is ut which is coming uh, you sent from the top which is the output of uh, your uh, update gate it is getting multiplied by ht minus 1 ht minus 1 ht minus 1 is coming straight from there top so these are the this is getting this is nothing but your hidden gate which is circled here in the yellow that is hidden gate 
So before coming to that, I will explain you what your uh, candidate gate is doing. So candidate gate, you have understood that uh, this equation is understood now. Okay. So now the value of RT is equal to one when it means the entire information from previous hidden gate HT minus one is considered. When RT equal to one, all the information from uh, previous input, previous time step input HT minus one is considered. When RT equal to zero, HT minus one is not considered at all. And something between zero and one, so partial, partial it will be considered. And XT will be considered as it is. So likewise, RT, RT is zero also zero, and if RT is zero and RT is one, it will decide how much of previous time, previous time step input we are considering. That is how it is. And that is, and X, it is added to with current type in current time, current time step input. And then we are uh, calculating the 10 H of that. So it is nothing but your hidden, the candidate state, hidden state, candidate gate, hidden state. It is the hidden state of candidate gate. So this is what the function of here RT. RT is a uh, fraction which decide how much of HT minus one we have to consider. It can be zero, it can be one, or it can be between zero and one. So how much of previous time step we have to consider how much we have to keep and how much we have to forget. That is decided by RT. Then we go next. We go next, which is hidden gate here. One minus UT. First you see UT. UT was going up and HT is coming from the top. The top bus, top bus is coming. Both are getting element wise multiplication element wise multiplication plus it is adding getting added to one minus ut cross ht is this equation understood dr shailesh and malti madam yeah, yeah yes yeah it is understood very simple now so this is this is this is your single update gate for both historical information as well as new information so new information is coming via ht new information via is coming via HT cap. So see, HT cap is giving your time, time, step, in, time step input combined with the previous uh, state, uh, previous state input, which is HT minus one. How much of we have to take? So HT is nothing but your new update, new update, right? So HT is new update. So H, HT, we are, uh, H, HT is the new update, HT cap. So that we are multiplied by one minus UT. And the new, the HT minus one is coming from previous time step that we are multiplying by UT. So now this equation we have to understand. When UT is equal to zero, when UT is around zero, UT is zero means what? Entire HT minus one will be wiped off. Understood? If UT is zero, entire HT minus one will be wiped off and only HT cap will be considered, means only new input will be considered. And when UT is one, then entire new information will be wiped off and only left hand side will be considered. Is this understood? UT and one minus UT. UT, you first put UT equal to zero. If you put UT equal to zero, then if you put UT equal to zero, then HT minus one will be, first term will be zero. That means nothing from previous input will be considered. Previous time step input, it will not be considered. HT minus one is coming from previous time step, right? So if UT is zero, HT minus one into zero will be zero. So first term will be zero. So nothing of HT minus one will be considered. Second term will be one minus zero means one and uh, HT cap, HT cap is your new update. So entirely new update will be considered. And take the reverse now, put UT equal to one. If you put UT equal to one, right hand side will be zero. Right hand side will be zero. That means nothing of uh, new input will be considered. Only old information which is coming from previous time step will be considered. So it is, it is controlling both historical information. Historical information means HT minus one, and it is controlling new information which is HT cap. It is coming. It is controlling both. HT minus one is the historic information, and HT cap is the new information. So it is controlling both. How it is controlling? It is controlling with the help of ut either ut can be zero or ut can be one or in between okay so that's how it is controlling that 
and uh, that is how is uh, uh, this is how the entire uh, functioning of uh, entire functioning of uh, gru gru there there are there are i will repeat once again so gru there is one uh, reset gate so reset gate simply uh, takes uh, uh, sigma function and then you have uh, update gate update gate is same function only weights are different then you have candidate gate in which you apply uh, your uh, you you get your uh, like your hidden state new hidden state you get update this is nothing but new update this is nothing but your new update so you get based on 10h and then uh, you do you do one addition here on the top on the right hand side right hand side top you see there is a plus sign that's where you do this addition and that's how you control your historical information and new information okay so this is is this is your entire uh, this is your your entire uh, uh, we'll have a discussion uh, after i finish we'll have a discussion on this so lstm and gru work towards eliminating the long term dependency problem so why they are use lstm and gru we uh, vanishing and exploding gradient problems uh, we will uh, Uh, tackle with the help of LSTM and GRU. The difference lies in the number of operation and time consumed. GRU LSTM is a very heavy mathematically very heavy, and GRU is comparatively lighter. GRU is uh, new. GRU is new, invented only 2014. It is speedier and computationally inexpensive. It is less computationally less expensive than LSTM. And but. Experiments like people have done many experiments both with GRU and LSTM, but people have got uh, better results with LSTM. So LSTM is very heavy, but the state of the results people have got with uh, LSTM. So uh, if, if your nice computing machines available with you, you go for uh, LSTMs, and if you want to do finish it quickly, then you go for then you go for GRU. i try both and see what is working for you and what is not working for you so that's how it is okay